Hello everyone. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Welcome to Gaming Scripture and Commentary. Christian gamers playing a game, talking about Jesus through his word, and commenting on anything that happens to come up. This is Going Nuclear! And this is where I showcase some of my Fallout 4 video, here without sound, and talking about Sunday Scripture. Um, I realize I was on the wrong... Wrong script there, okay. Anyways, um, this is episode 23. And we're doing Matthew 6, 16 through 18 for a short one. It's about fasting. And so, yeah, I am Ken Igikanthan. And as always, we want to make sure this is given to God, who is the ultimate and the creator and the one who gave his, his son to us that so we might live. He loves us so much. And so I want to make sure that I give that credit to God because his will, his will be done and not mine or ours. Okay. So, dear merciful God, we so, thank you so much for the opportunity to come together and share your word. To talk to us about uh, fasting, about how we're supposed to serve you and honor and praise you. But ultimately, Lord, I want people to be blessed by this video, blessed by what they hear and see. For those who are searching, that they can be fine. Those who ha are found to be strengthened. And that sh iron sharpens iron, and the steel sharpens steel, so I can grow and learn too from all that interaction that happens. We do this in great, in Jesus' great and glorious name. Amen. All right. Um, get your Bible. Where's the old-fashioned kind, or an app on your phone or tablet, or a website such as BibleGateway.com, Bible.com, or BlueLetterBible.com. And or something I may not mention, we are in the ESV version, uh, and that's what we planned on doing our work from, or reading from. Um, you're welcome to read other translations too. Um, and while you're doing that, um, by all means, um, if you have any prayer requests, go ahead and post them in whether in Twitch chat, or Whisper, or discussion board, or however you feel comfortable doing it. If you have any comments, thoughts, questions, ideas, tips, whatever you want to do, just go ahead and post it also. Love to hear from you and get back to you on that. And of course, as always, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and check out other stuff you might have on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Raptor, Tumblr, or something I might have mentioned. Okay. So, um, like I said, we are in Matthew. We are doing Matthew 6, 16 through 18, when you fast. Okay. So, this is something that I have, I, I did, I finally fasted a couple weeks ago. I did it for one meal. Um, they say to try it. Oh, we'll get to it later about that, but I did it for a little bit. And uh, before that, I really had done that before. You know, but it also helps that right now I'm in my mode of trying to lose weight. So fasting felt like, oh, yeah, it has to give a meal. But fasting is more than that. So anyways, we're going to find out more when we get to that. So if you're ready, here we go. And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. For they disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, you have they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face. That your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Remember last time, we did the talking about um, prayer, Lord's Prayer and about uh, praying in secret. You know, the hypocrites would pray, showing as if, you know, oh, look at me, look at me, I'm praying. So fasting is kind of their part of that too. It's a showing. Uh, hypocrites were like, "Well, my gosh, they're just they're making themselves look like they're miserable, and I haven't. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry, and I'm doing this for God." It's like, "Well, wait a minute, are you really doing it for God? Okay, it's supposed to be between you and God. Okay, live before the audience of one. When you're doing that, when you're trying to share it, do that, and look like you're all fasting, so to speak. Then you're not doing it for God. You're doing it for yourself and your personal." you know, um, um, credit from your fellow man, you know. Mind you, of course, when you do fast, you are doing it for yourself, for you should God, but it has to be something more more uh, looking toward what you want between you and God. Not the approval of man, okay, but the approval of God. Because those who are doing it by being seen by others are doing it by, for the approval of man. That's why when, when Jesus said, true, I say to you, they have received their reward. Yeah, they got their, got their human reward. I thought that's, that's, that's what you want, okay? That's, that's a temporary, short, short-sighted, short very small piece and not lasting forever. You know, approved by God, that's eternity. So, several things in the sermon. 
upon what is to be seen by others or by the Father. Okay. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. Now, Jesus is not trying to be mean or capricious. Okay. Um, not trying to make make you feel bad at what you're doing. You know, God is just, and neither is God. Okay. God is not just looking for us to mess up. They're trying to find. Oh my gosh, have you done that? No. As a matter of fact, I don't think it's required that fasting. You have to do fasting to be saved. You don't. You don't have to fast to be saved. And not to mention which, fasting is something good. But again, between you and God. We don't have to perform to know that we st where we stand with God. That's the one thing that's grateful, and by grace that we are saved, is the fact that we don't have to perform or earn our salvation. It's already there by God. And so if God loves me, why do I need to be hungry? That's one of the questions that happens when you think about being seen by others, by the Father. Like, why would God want us to be hungry? It's not, it's not about the hunger. It's about the replacement. It's about the, the relationship you have with, with God. It's what you're doing. If you're spending time, say you're, you make your meal, you eat your meal. Let's say you're spending a half an hour to an hour doing all that. You know, fasting takes that hour and you give it to God and just study with Him, you're communing with Him. He doesn't want you to get hungry. As I said, hungry. I mean, you get hungry to the point you don't eat and you're gonna be good die. You know, but uh, and don't forget, you know, Jesus went out for 40 days and um, fasted after he got called. You know, after the the uh, um, John the Baptist baptized him. So what? What are the means of grace, and why do we need them? You know, the means of, of grace, experiencing God's love, is inward. You know, it's prayer, reading, fasting, giving. It's outward. It's how I think we behave and and, and show our lives and how people see live our lives in corporate gatherings, communities, confession, feasting. Remember that? Feasting. So, see, not, not always fasting. What is your motivation? Where is your heart? That's the biggest thing about fasting, and you got to do it for the right reasons. Uh, we want to know God. Or are you obligated to know God? Well, on one level, I want I, I want to know God, and obligation to know God is shouldn't be there because like oh my gosh, I'm being forced to. Well, no. But the biggest thing to realize is the fact that you you know to have to be obligated. You gotta keep careful, right? The idea is that I, as a Christian and a follower of Christ, want to be closer to God. I also feel somewhat of an of a obligation to do that, but that's only because I, I, my motivation is my heart felt. But if you're doing it at a total obligation without any really heartfelt, then it's not worth it. Are you close or distant with God? Are you trying to earn your way? You can't earn your way. And growing in the community of God is the reason why we do those things. Okay? And what, so what is, what is fasting? Fasting is without food for a specific time, for a specific spiritual need. It's regular or occasional. It's an hour, a day, a week. When you fast, it's not in now. It's not if you fast. Christ said when you fast. So don't think about that fasting as something you, you shouldn't do. It's when you fast. When you pray, not if you pray. When you pray. When you give, not if you give. It's when you give. Um, their thing is, um, oh, I was. I'm sorry. I, I realized now that I had some notes uh, for Matthew 6:16, Matthew 9:15, and Acts. So I didn't I didn't get that ready for that. So usually I have my notes all prepared and it's all set up, so I don't have to worry about doing this. Now like I'm stalling because I realize, oh no. Just shows you that you know God doesn't care if we're perfect as long as we're we're committed. Matthew six sixteen. Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with the sad. That's, wait a minute. I'm repeating the same thing again. That's what that's, that's what this whole thing's about. I'm sorry, I'm bad. So I did that. Um nine. 15. <clears throat> and Jesus said to them, Can the friends of the bridegroom mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them, then they will fast. And Acts, the thing is, I said they're accused at times, and why aren't you, you know, as you see in the Acts that the disciples uh, um, do fast, you also see in the fact that they, Christ was asked, Why aren't your disciples, that John's disciples are, are fasting, why aren't yours? And Christ said, Wait a minute. Well, the bridegroom is with them, feast, for the time will come, they'll fast. And we see that in Acts. So what does fasting do? You know, what does fasting do for us? And so why do we even do it, right? It reveals how we use food and other things to cover up how fragile we are. I mean, food is needed to survive. Not already that. But there are people who do use food, and I've been known to do food is like comfort food or a food that um, keeps you entertained or active. I get bored sometimes. I, 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 I snack that keeps me uh, active, you know, even though I'm trying to lose weight. It sharpens it sharpens the spiritual sensitivity. It wakes you from your spiritual slumber. 
And that's what fasting does. It sharp, sharpens your spiritual sensitivity and it wakes you from your from our spiritual slumber. And what fasting does is it's a means of grace. You know, God wants us to know him and that's why we do these things. So how how do we fast, okay? And this is what I took a good good uh, comments coming back out of it and thinking what I should do to fast myself. That's why I did a one day or no one meal fast one time. And what I did was when I had that fast, I went up I used that time and just walked around my neighborhood uh, talking to God and prayerfully asking for some support in my in my life. So the thing is, how do you do your fast? You do it thoughtfully first off, okay? And prayerfully. You might you gotta ask God what you want to do. So you create a goal for the fast. What does God want you to do? What does God want for you to do? Start small, don't overdo it, crawl before walking. I did a one one meal. You know, there are those who've done several days and some have done weeks. Now mind you, don't get rid of water, okay? Fasting is just food. Make a plan. What to do when you're not eating and use it for, for Jesus. Like a prayer walk, you know. Fasting is for feasting in Jesus. You know, eventually you're gonna you know, you'll be you know, if you think about it, you're not eating, it'll give you more opportunity to spend time feasting in Jesus in in while well, talking with him. Um, talk to others who are impacted. Obviously, if you're living with people, your family, and fr- or whoever you're with, and they're also work with you on your meals, and also you decide to say, "I'm not eating." They're like, what "About me." So talk with the people who are impacted. Allow your hunger pains to point you to prayer. If you feel that hunger pain, you go, "Ooh, time to pray." Okay. And and everything is just try different kinds of fast. You can do that. You no food. You can do a juice fast, which means all you do is get juice. You can just. Uh, I don't know. There are different ways you can look, look up. Look it up. There are different ways to do fast. Okay. And last thing is how do you fast? Is keep the gospel of Jesus at the forefront of your fast. You know, remember you're doing it for God. You're doing it for the relationship with God. You're doing it because of that heartfelt need to be with God and and share that opportunity with Him. Remember you're doing it for Him and not for yourself. So keep the gospel of Jesus at the forefront of your fast. Ask Him to guide you what you do. Ask him to take away your hunger pains. Give, you know, ask him to take care of the things you need to do for this. Let this be a worthwhile endeavor for you to have. Okay, so that's the way we want to do it. So that's fasting. Um, I hope that you guys uh, uh, got a chance to see what's going on. And, and I'm checking out my time, my, my my video here. And if you have any questions, thoughts, comments, questions, please, by all means, post them. I'd love to hear from you. Um, right now, nobody's in chat and Twitch, so I'm not hearing any responses back from there. Um, I'm thinking that the other thing about my life or what I'm doing is best is that what am I spending my best times on when it comes to doing all this? So I might do a fast on that, fasting about what what God wants me to do to to share information like this over the over Twitch and YouTube, you know, and who am I impacting, not impacting, and like that. And I'm thinking like. I did this video with uh, Fallout 4. I played a, I played uh, about an hour and a, about an hour worth of uh, Fallout 4, so I wouldn't be distracted by what I'm doing. But I wanted to give you guys something to watch while you're listening to me talk. But then again, if you're watching watching that, you're not listening to me, then you may not be dis- be distracted. But that's that's okay too. You can listen to this without having to watch it too. The other thing is that um, maybe my best my best way to do this is not to do this game. Um, but say, say, play Civilization 6, where it's static. You don't have any visual going, you just stop and just t- talk a little bit, k- play a little bit, stop, talk a little bit. That way they get more interactive this than having to, uh, on this one. But I don't know. Anyways, I'm always welcome to ha- ask for some guidance and thoughts about this, and I'd love to hear more back from you. And uh, until next week, when I do some more from the scripture, and Matthew is still f- almost getting done <coughs> Sorry, with the Sermon on the Mount. Um, So yeah, take care of yourself and God bless you.